Welcome to the 10 case player break hosted on blowoutcards.com. Um, I am your host, RC Fair, and this is the first of 10 cases. Just call me Roger, by the way. So, anyway, I'm going to show you the case and we're going to get started. Hopefully, it's a loaded case. Good luck, everyone. Thank you all for filling the break and doing your part to make it successful so far. And hopefully, we got the right cases to make it even better. <laughs> I doubt that. Those well kind of got hung up there. Anyway, there we go. Quick hands, save the day. <sighs> All right, let's go. Box number one. Good luck. We'll do all the extra product after the break. After the main team, 10 cases, that is. These packs feel so small after I open up super jumbos. <clears throat> There's Mr. Lewis's base cards. <laughs> Gillespie Mini. Silver Eyes, J.P. Crawford. Aaron Judge, Silver Eyes. And first auto, Justin Twine, base auto. I actually got a bigger desk. I had it delivered, and it I can't get the thing inside my house. It's too big. It's like four feet deep. Seven foot across. I mean, this thing is a monster case. I mean, disc. So, it's solid oak, too. So, it's even heavier than you can imagine. Purple Ice. Jake Cozart. Numbered 75 of 99. Uh, it's no, it's just pure slab of wood, like one inch oak. I mean, just pure. I mean, it's just a freakishly heavy desk. Daniel Robertson die cut. So I'll make this one work for now. Should be moving in the next couple of months anyway. Sano Mini. Right. 
Mitch Keller, Silver Ice, and Grant Hawkins, Base Auto. Got a blue refractor coming up. Blue paper, Joey Gallo to 500. And Jared Walker, blue refractor, 197 of 399 for the Dodgers. Well, not for the Dodgers, for the Walker spot. Too many team breaks. <laughs> Kyle Zimmer Mini. Silver Ice Grand Hawking. Um, I would do a true player, and actually, my um, ten caser that I just that I've got on the join um, forum right now, which covers the three products that have came out this year, that's actually pretty much a true player draft. I do like the true players, especially in smaller case formats. Like in the 20 casers, I don't mind doing the, um, the regular ones. I mean, I'm going to do some different things, especially with um, Bowman coming out. I'll probably try a true player format for sure. And this guy absolutely crushed the last super jumbo I did. Sean Reeve Foley, Refractor Auto. There's a lot of people that like that because it pretty much guarantees them hits, so they don't mind the extra cost. <sighs> I know, I've, I like that format a lot. Always have. The only reason I run them like this, I have recently, is basically to keep them cheaper. I noticed that the cheaper breaks usually fill up more. I mean, like, Norty had a 20-case jumbo break. He filled two of them up, and the third one, he couldn't fill up. And it was like $60 a spot. From what I've seen, if it's under 50, it usually does better. But, you know, while draft is cheap, I mean, 950 a case, 999 a case, you know, whichever one it would be, that's a great price. And plus, another reason why I haven't ran one of those is because um, SCB has been doing that a lot. And I know he's got another one coming. Casey Soltis, Silver Eyes. Garrett Fullencheck, Refractor Auto. It's a nice one, too. Very clean. But if you guys want some more draft before Bowman comes up, you can definitely comply. I know the um, break I just listed, it's got four cases of super, I mean, of jumbos. 
Brad Alston, Silver Eyes. Yeah, I think the reason why, I mean, these drafts are always going to be the same. They're, they're basically asking the price of potential, not of what actually is going to be pulled or what could be pulled. I mean, you know, there's spots that will hit three or four base autos, and then there are spots that are going to hit like Braxton Davison did in Nordy's 10 cases, an orange, a blue, you know, so on and so forth. Or like how <clears throat> Alex Jackson did in my last 10 caser. I mean, a green, a blue, a refractor auto, a couple of base autos. I mean, that spot actually, I mean, just pure, it was just, he just slayed that spot. I haven't seen that kind of, you know, break for a top guy in a long time. Ben Lively to 500. Chris Ellis, green, refractor, 26 and 150. <laughs> But I do agree. I mean, at times, some people can ask a lot of money on a spot, but. I mean, there's no way. Like, even if you hit an orange of some of these guys, you couldn't cover the cost of the spot. So. But, I mean, I guess you're really just basically going after that guy on potential. Like, say, you think Grant Hawking's going to be. The next Roger Clemens, so you're buying him at eighty dollars a spot. You might hit three autos in a break, but potentially those are eighty dollar autos. You know, whatever. Scott Blewett base auto. I mean, it can work either way. It's like Grant um, Aaron Judge for me last year. I was buying him at you know anywhere between a hundred for a five caser to. 300 for our 20 caser or whatever but look at how well he's doing now and what those cards are worth i mean you can sell a base auto for 60 or 70 bucks at this point well it could at one point so i mean it's just all and how much you believe in those prospects too <laughs> yeah, I mean, Nola's still cheap. 26 for a base auto. I mean, that's he went up a little bit after his cards got released, but that's it. D DJ Peterson, 34 of 99, purple ice. But I guess you're kind of going on potential too with him because when he gets caught up, because the Phillies fans are nuts anyway. Say he goes 8 0 to start. I mean, that same gold will probably be a four or five hundred dollar card. It's just subjective, I guess. Courtney Hawkins, Silver Eyes. Sean Newcomb, Base Auto. Yeah, I think that's right. Yeah, it was a refractor auto of Sean Reed Foley. Because Garrett Fullenjack was the first one of the second box. Silver Ice and Miguel Amante. And there'll be guys that fall too. Like, I remember people paying like $700, $800 for Austin Meadows. And ten and you know ten case breaks, they might have hit one card or two cards or three or four cards. It's just nuts. And now they're like 
I mean, I, I, can, I can't even remember the last time I saw what the price of one was. I think it was around 40 to 50 bucks, Lacante. But those autos at one point were going for over 100 bucks. Maybe they're back up there. Who knows? He hasn't really done anything yet. Plant Frazier, too. What's up, AL Basketball? Wayne, right? Well, we got a Blackway pack. Severino Mini. Alright. Alex Jackson, Refractor. All right, I think you already saw that, so we'll just go ahead and show it. Aramis Garcia, Silver Wave, 10 of 25. Austin Meadows, Speak of the Devil. Taekwon Forbes, Luke Weaver, and Michael Feliz are your Black Waves. Are you keeping the thread updated, Wayne? It is Wayne, right? Yeah. I'm sure I'm butchered that. Matt. Jeez. Okay, Wayne is, um... Got his name, his um, username, Tim Anderson. But he's a regular. Sorry about that, Matt. Kind of green refractor. Blue paper, Jake Reed to 500. And Scott Blewett, Green Refractor, 105 of 150. Silver Ice of Phil Irvin, Austin Dakar, Refractor Auto. Yeah, it's fine, Hawking. Good memory there, AK. Another Purple Ice. Three boxes, three Purple Ice. There's a nice one. Aaron Nola. Purple Ice, 13 of 99. Whoever we're talking about, that's who we're going to pull. So let's start talking about Schwarber, Alex Jackson, Braxton Davison, Nick Gordon. Matt, you had an insane random. Congrats on that. Nick Birdie, Silver Ice. Jake's to net, base auto. Yeah, they, they'll hurt you sometimes. These things are approaching around 
Seen some go for as low as five recently, but most of them have been in the seven and eight range. Fr um, Bryant Mania. <laughs> Hoffman Mini. I'm actually going to try to keep the refractors of... <clears throat> some guys separated... Well, not separated, but whenever I package them up, I'm going to put them in sleeves. Talk on Forbes, Silver Ice. Mike Pappy, Base Auto. Yeah, three fifty for a regular Bowman paper would be cheap. Wow. Uh, but you know what? I think it has a lot of room for growth. A lot of room. I was buying paper lots up of draft for a while because they were so cheap. I was posting on blowout, buying up them. I mean, these guys that were busting 10 and 20 cases, I was buying all theirs. So I've got a big stack of those. And I have a big stack of Bowman from where I've had him in breaks. Bowman draft. I bought I bought black refractors on blowout two months ago for thirty five dollars a piece. Uh, there was a silver ice last night that went for over forty dollars. No lie, my mouth dropped when I saw that. I was buying those up too. Josh Bell silver ice. Yeah, you're. I think most people that are selling right now, I hate to say it, will probably end up regretting it. I think he's going to hit Trout Plus category as far as price wise on his base stuff. With so many autos, I don't know how well that's going to go because Trout didn't really have all that many autos from 2009. His original one. So it kind of helps his value. Cisco die cut. Oh, he will. He's going to be the Mike Trout of the NL. That big a superstar. I mean, he's everything that people love. I mean, he's a good person. He's a great player. People are going to love him. And plus he's a tub. That will not hurt. Yeah, if you're going to grade a red ice and it looks good, I'd grade it because they're going for over 100 bucks right now. Dylan C. Silver Ice. Jeff Hoffman's on the board. Refractor Auto. I don't know who has that spot. That'd be me. If they put him, keep him in outfield, he might throw out a shoulder. Devers Silver Ice. I love that kid. I mean, he's the kind of guy that the hobby desperately needs because there's too many jerks in it. <clears throat> Sean Newcomb. Yeah, so far it's all refractor autos, no color. Might just hit a super in this case. That'd be alright.
David Dahl Mini. Oh, I got Danny a blowout pretty good with that um, bench warmers trick. I told him, I was like, what the heck, dude? Why did y'all send me 10 cases of bench warmers? And um, he responds, he goes, oh my God, are you kidding me? And I said, no, I was like, this sucks. How am I going to ship these back to you? And um, he was like, man, I'm so sorry. And I responded back, I was like, I'm just kidding, man. <laughs> He's like, I hate you. <laughs> He's like, everybody's tried to get me all day long, but I believed you. <laughs> That's pretty funny. I was like, if I got 10 cases of bench warmers, I said, the people on my breaks, they would probably want me to open it. Especially that Bill Macy guy. Austin Boosfield, 368 or 399 blue. What's up, you ball? I see you're hard at work again. <laughs> Cola mini. <laughs> I hear you. Nothing wrong with that, buddy. Spencer Turnbull, Silver Eyes. Gabriel Guerrero, Breakouts. I cannot believe Roberto Osuna made the roster. 20 years old, isn't that right? Yeah, just turned 20 years old. He has been lights out, though. Well, tell your co-workers to leave you alone. Oh, did you? Jigalo, Silver Eyes. And there's one that we had a hard time hitting last time. Cole Tucker, Base Auto. Devon Travis, did he make it? Because he has had a really good spring. I know I just saw something about Roberto Asuna. That's why I mentioned that. That's awesome. Devon Travis has been on fire. Oh, wow. There's a nice blue paper. Chris Bryant. 75 of 399 That's worth like $150, ain't it? I'm kidding. Those things are selling well. <clears throat> Telling you, everybody we talk about, I pull... Devon Travis. If you want your guy, start talking about him. <clears throat> you know what? I have zero Devon Travis. We got a gold refractor coming, though. Who's the gold? I believe that one's going to Nick. Wyatt Strahan, gold refractor, 12 of 50. I guess he's going to make it as a, what, a relief pitcher? I didn't buy any of him. Of course, I didn't watch any of his film either, so. There's a nice one. Verdugo Base Auto. I believe that one goes to the Fanatic, who had picks number 6 through 10. He crushed it. Had a great random. Well, what's funny is I did the random over our break again just to see how many repeat one of number ones I would get. I won't tell you who got number one several times, but it was guys with like four, five to eight picks slots. They got it 
consistently. I mean, over, I think I did it 30 times, and the same guys with five to eight picks got it two times, some and one guy got it three times. I couldn't believe it. Not one guy with 10 picks or more got number one in any random I did. Is that crazy or what? <laughs> I don't think there's any science to that. It was just it was just something I observed. I just thought it was cool. I was trying to show my son how it worked. He's like, Dad, how does this work? <laughs> So I was trying to explain to him how it worked. Trying to teach him skills that will get him through life. Colic Mini. Okay. I see BMB. You were over there on your stream. Sorry about that. Bazoop. Um, nothing crazy so far. We do have a perfect game auto coming up though. Copic Silver Ice and there's one I haven't hit. Cody Medeiros. Numbered oh, 44 of 199. I believe that's the high risk. Let me make sure before I make a statement that I regret. Yep. High risk it is. There you go, Robert. Or Rob. Yeah. I told him that I sell way too much in this stuff. Giolito Silver Eyes. I usually end up regretting it. Chris Ellis, Base Auto. And usually guys like Billy remind me of how much I regret it. Austin the car blue paper. I know all you do is buy. But I also show him that selling at the right time can do well for you. He was just curious. My oldest son, that's who was asking. He has no desire to get into baseball cards, I can assure you. He was just curious as to how it worked. Louis Torrens. 391 of 399. Now, my younger son, he enjoys cards. He's more into basketball, though. <clears throat> What's up, Caleb? Luke Weaver, Basada. <clears throat> Definitely hitting some names I didn't hit very much of in the last break. Nothing much, man. How you doing? <clears throat> Spencer Adams, Silver Ice. Spencer Adams, Basada. Destin Mew, Silver Eyes. Yeah, 
Look at the color auto. Besides the bonus auto. Sean Nuka Mini. Michael Chavis blue paper to 500. <clears throat> My next neighbor is rocking out today. Working in her yard. David Dahl. Really? I just hit one. A refractor auto. Who do you have in this break? I had Hoffman in my last 10 caser, and I think I only hit one refractor and one base. Nobody special. Uh, it happens. It goes in circles. Sometimes you're hitting, sometimes you're not. You know that. Still no color autos. I believe we hit our three in that one anyway. Michael Feliz green paper green refractor, sixteen of one fifty. <clears throat> Forbes isn't bad. Turner Chrome, yeah, you stole Turner Chrome. I thought it. seeing Kolick and Turner, those guys go after a hundred. That was pretty crazy. There's a lot of good chrome slots that wait that didn't go until after a hundred. And I was hoping I could have gotten that spot. Like I was gonna try to move up and get that. Turner spot, and then you drafted him. I was like, oh, there you go, buddy. Because <laughs> I thought that one, Kolick, because Kolick basically, B-U-R-R-G-U-E-N-A, whatever, however you pronounce that, he wanted me to just pick him the best player available. And he ended up with Gatewood Chrome and Kolick Chrome. I mean, he did pretty well for basically being auto-picked. Morgan Silver Ice and Zek Lamont Base Auto. <clears throat> Maybe that's a green auto. May yep it is. Tyler Glasnow Silver Ice. And Zach Lamond, Green Refractor Auto, 38 of 99. I believe that's for Nordy. He's trying to get the rainbow of that guy. Definitely not hit any big guys in this one, except for Verdugo, of course, and Hoffman. Those are two good names. Harvey Mini. Oh, you have Zach Lamont? Hawks? Ah, I thought Nordy had it again. I can't be hitting you, Color Autos. You know me. I never pull you anything good. Miguel Almonte, 43 of 399. The world must be coming to an end if I'm hitting you something. You know what's funny about Lamont? Like I've said before, I don't know if I mentioned it with some of you guys in here. 
you know he was the fastest to double A out of out of that draft class, right? From this year. He was absolutely lights out at Rice. You do? Yeah, I've got a few of his autos. I've got I picked up an orange for like twenty two dollars. I figure when he gets the call to the majors, worst case scenario, I make about forty or fifty dollars off of it. <clears throat> Very. Hoffman blue paper. <laughs> That's crazy. Well, I got another goal coming, not auto. Jacoby Jones, 23 of 50. Goes to the CTP prospect spot for the Pirates. I believe that needs Chapman's. Red Ice coming. You got a Jace Fry Silver Ice and nice one. Bobby Bradley Red Ice. 118 of 150. <clears throat> yeah, the Le Mans Super got pulled. Um, if I'm not mistaken, somebody on Blowout probably bought it. But it, I think it went for like 400 bucks. It was dirt cheap. For a super, that is. Urias Mini. I know Nordy hit a red in his last break. And Connor Joe. That's a guy that didn't show up in 10 cases. Box number seven. Severino, Silver Eyes, and Tyler Kolick, Base Auto. <clears throat> Swahart Mini.
green refractor coming. And it is Peter O'Brien for the D-backs. 41 of 150. Sorry, if I call out the team name, I don't mean it's player break. I mean, not a team break. I'm just partially retarded at times, I guess you could say. Guerrero Silver Eyes. Yeah, I would think that B is on the way out. Those two definitely seem to run together. Along with Newcomb. Crawford Mini. Did you get that blue bead I pulled for you? Graded yet? Caleb? And I know Caleb isn't your first name. I'm just calling you by your username. Blue Refractor. Austin Dakar. 107 of 399. Oh, really? Michael Giddis, Silver Eyes, and Brian Gonzalez, Base Auto. That sucks. Do you try using one of those microfibers? I know they get beat up, though, the way they get handled and all. Nick Gordon, blue paper. Hunter Harvey Mini. Red Ice. Rob Kaminsky. 14 of 150. Uh, I hear you. There he is. Tyler Bede, base auto. Last box of case number one. <clears throat> we need something more, something big. Derek Kill Mini. Oh. 
Oh, yeah. Yeah, that had me nervous a little bit. I mean, but I saw that Dave hadn't had his, I mean, not Dave, Brad hadn't got his stuff in, and I sent it all priority. It made no sense. Forest Wall. And there you go, Hunter. Taekwon Forbes, base auto. And we got a refractor, Hunter Harvey, Silver Ice. Refractor auto of Nick Coward. Man, and I don't think we're going to hit another color auto. And I'd almost bet against it. <laughs> CJ Edwards Mini. M. Hoff, Blue Paper to 500. Another red ice. Joe Gatto, 34 of Purple ice. This case was loaded with ice. I don't know who that is. Blake Swihart. Purple ice. Severely off centered. Forty eight of ninety nine. Sean Reed Foley, Silver Eyes. Hunter Renfro Mini. I mean, Mini. Silver Ice. Wow. Wake up, Roger. Severino Silver Ice. I mean, wow. Severino Mini. Oh my goodness. I called the Silver Ice a Mini and a Mini Silver Ice. <laughs> oh my. Alright, Blue Refractor coming up and Blue Paper. Brett Gray's Blue Paper. Nice Blue Refractor. Jose Peraza, 164 of 399. He sure didn't have the spring Braves fans were hoping for. Jace Peterson has been crushing the baseball. And Justice Sheffield on the board. Base auto. 
That is it for box num case number one. <clears throat> yeah, let me get this stuff sorted out and we'll get on with the recap and start on case number two. Yeah, the perfect game would count as part of the color. Not the kind of start we wanted, but I'd rather start off slow and in hot and then the other way around. The good thing is that it can only go up from there. Actually, it was a really good ice case, though. Probably one of the better ones I've seen. Maybe not the biggest names, but up there. Definitely on quality. And quantity. Well, with a couple of quality names. Getting there.
couple more to go. And we will recap. <clears throat> I wish more guys autographed like Jake Stinnett. It's probably the best autograph on the whole product. I know people like Grant Hawking, but I like the way Stinnett autographs. Very bold. Scott Blewett sounds like a girl. <laughs> The autos. Let me see something real quick and then we'll get going. All right. Here's the recap for case number one. Let's get the camera back. Blue paper to 500. Joey Gallo, Ben Lively, Jake Reed, Austin Dakar, Michael Chavez, Jeff Hoffman, Nick Gordon, Matt Emhoff, Brett Graves, and Chris Bryant. We hit a ton of color ice. Reds to 150. Rob Kaminsky, Joe Gatto, Bobby Bradley. Purples to 99, Blake Swihart, Aaron Nola, DJ Peterson, and Jake Cozart. Chrome parallels, um, Black Waves, Michael Feliz, Luke Weaver, Taekwon Forbes, and Austin Meadows. Blues to 399, Jose Peraza, Austin Dakar, Miguel Lamonte, Luis Torrens, Austin Boosfield, and Jared Walker. Greens. To 150, Peter O'Brien, Michael Feliz, Scott Blewett, and Chris Ellis. Golds to 50, Jake Jacoby Jones, and Wyatt Strahan. Also had a silver wave of Aramis Garcia. That's number 25. Autographs was not the best auto case. This was not my fault. <laughs> All right. Anyway, base autos: Justin Twine, Grant Hawken. Scott Bullitt, Sean Newcomb, Jake Stinnett, Mike Pappy, Cole Tucker, Alex Verdugo, Chris Ellis, Luke Weaver, Spencer Adams, Zach Lamond, Connor Joe, Tyler Kolick, Brian Gonzalez, Tyler Bede, Taekwon Forbes, and Justice Sheffield. Refractor Autos, Sean Reed Foley, Garrett Folencheck, Austin Dakar, Nick Howard, and Jeff Hoffman. We had two numbered autos, Cody Medeiros, perfect game auto, 44 of 199, and a Zeke LeMond, green refractor auto, 38 of 99. So that was it. Like I said, it wasn't the best case, that's for sure. But, got to start somewhere. the recording and